Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Yes, it is Worker Wednesday, and we are back at the uh, glorious Soviet Republic of ours, looking forward to developing it further. In fact, have a pretty solid game plan for what we're going to do today, and I'm very excited to execute it all. I've been, I've really been loving this game and uh, just loving the challenges it portrays and brings forth and uh, the solutions it allows you to come up with. And I've, I've, I've really been thoroughly enjoying the latest, uh, uh, you know, executions we've been doing. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series as well. Seems to be the case. A very, uh, it always makes me very happy to read all of your comments and all. I've been flipping through them now that we've doubled down on the episodes. There's a lot more of them coming through, obviously. Uh, do keep them coming, as always. Your likes and comments fuel the series. Uh, so, you know, it's what lets me know that I should continue something. Uh, especially when it's a let's play, especially when it's been going on for so long. It's really good to see all that kind of uh, engagement, the likes and comments. And like I said, it's fun to read them as well, especially when they include tips such as the fact that we should maybe get more of these KZH-461 railway cranes because they are apparently the faster uh, of the various um, types of rail layers. What's the word I'm looking for? Equipment mechanisms. They're, they're the fastest of mechanisms apparently. Apparently some experiments have been done and apparently they're posted elsewhere and apparently the KZH-461 railway crane is the fastest manufacturer of tracks. So we are going to actually purchase another one and in fact we're going to replace our old ones. Sell them. Yeah, get rid of them. You know why? Because we've got so much money that even if we sell and purchase at a loss I feel okay. Now, for the next little segment over here, it's all going to be one vehicle doing all the construction. But eventually, you know, for, for future extensions and whatnot, we'll need more. And uh, I believe in planning for the future. Let's go ahead and purchase, not materials, but uh, another KZH-461, right? That's the one? Yeah. Sorry, I just had to check. Go ahead and get three of them. There we go. Why not? Why not? And uh, the worker count, as you can see, actually skyrockets a little bit as well. Now! What's the plan for today, apart from getting that replacement done? The plan for today is we are going to continue building this set of track, of course. That's a necessity, so we can get this area up and running. Apart from that, we're also, uh, as you can see, laying the road down over here. Once this road section is done, we're going to uh, lay this road section down, lay, road th lay this road section down, get it all done and upgraded and looking pretty, right? Of course. Uh, might actually keep this little, as, this little piece as a mud road, because I don't think we need to upgrade it just quite yet. I think it serves its purpose, um, and it is a bit of a back road, you know, so it's suitable to have a, a mixed batch of roads. Um, apart from that, we are also going to start the construction of the two new residential units over here, because we need a lot more people. Now, we already have plenty of people uh, coming to, you know, work in this area, for sure. Not a problem. We, we do. But we're going to need a lot more. We're going to need a lot more. Now, the... Uh, or processing doesn't take that many people. 15 people, not that bad. The mine, though. The mine needs to be working at full efficiency. We need to get 250 people here at all times, if possible. It's impossible. It's, it's not going to happen, right? <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. But we need to try that, which is why I want to get more people over here so that I can get more people over here so that I can get another bus system going on, dropping people off over here until this uh, connection is completed. It's almost like a real city where you have to take a temporary transit mechanism until a more permanent and efficient one gets built. I love it. I love it. So, for now, let's go ahead and I think we can actually hit play. There's no reason to keep things paused. I think we can hit play and see all that happen. And as that's happening, we're also going to try and try our best to get the aggregate storage and stuff working over here. There was actually a very uh, eloquently put comment about uh, how I should get the truck aggregates and stuff set up. Many of you were on board for the truck idea, um, but but uh, I mean, we, we could still set that up for starters, right, until things get complex, but I want to at least try and plan out my battery, so to speak, of four iron ore processing plants, and if we can somehow fit the aggregate storage uh, for the iron over here to, to ship it via conveyor belt to the steel mill. Because if we can do that, that would be great. 
I would like to, like I said, plan for the future and, and, and get that working, but I don't know how possible or plausible it'll be. So that'll be a big chunk of today's session as well. I think just trying to see if we can get that Rustinsky extension working. That's, I think, what we'll call it, the Rustinsky extension. It won't have a separate name, but that's the project name. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this all sorted out. And once we start, uh, once we give the construction command for this, I will unpause so that hopefully this will be happening at the same time as this. And uh, we'll, well, we'll be, as soon as the road is done, we'll get that bus network set up so that people are being dropped off over here and they are getting to work sounds good to me all right so let's start off over here uh what type of unit i think i mean i like the symmetry i like the idea of having the same kind of unit over here so let's go ahead and do that and i also just want to double check before it's too late that we are in fact able to do an extension here yes we are cool that's that's what i that's exactly how i planned this gap and stuff if i recall correctly because uh, i wanted to make sure we can create a loop if we wanted to so Let's see, what is this building? It's been so long since we built uh, residential units. It's been a long time since we focused on, on this stuff, so it's nice to come back here now. Let's see, was it this one? Looks like this one. It's how many people? It's 179 people. Why not this one? Was it this one? You look identical. No, you don't. You don't look identical. It's definitely this one. Okay. The, uh, there's, like, the center sections. Every second... Like, look at the second, uh... Column from the right. They're different. How you tell. Alright, cool. Go ahead and flatten this terrain first. Go ahead and set you up over here. This giant mound. Should have reserved this for Terraform and Tuesdays. Uh, but no, it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Uh, it's a lot faster, in fact, to flatten with uh, with construction, I find. It's a lot faster. It's like it literally uses a different mechanism for it. Like, in-game, it uses a different mechanism. Alright, now we go. I mean, it's doing the trick. Keep lifting you up, please. Let's go ahead and flatten a bit over here as well. Yep, excellent. Excellent. Uh, and yes, that's what this gap is for, to make sure we can get to the... Extend those tracks. Gonna go ahead and get the wireframe on as well. Not auto-building, we want to build this ourselves. Get you flattened up a little bit more. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Excellent. And uh, yeah, I guess we can put one down over here. Trying to match what's across the road, obviously. Get one down, yeah, over here, sure. It's not perfect. As you can see. As you can see with these roads as well, it's a little messy. It's gonna drive me crazy the next time I have to see it. But, what are you gonna do? Let's go ahead and drop you down over here, I think. Yep. Uh, and let's get the roads... ...built as well. Come on, you're flat enough. You're, oh, God. This is gonna kill me. This is absolutely gonna kill me. Oh my God, that's so bad. I'm not about to demolish these buildings just so I can have straighter roads. As tempting as it is, I'm not about to displace a bunch of people for that. Okay, let's go ahead and get you there. Get you there. Yeah, this was 100% intentional. I, I absolutely wanted it to be angled like this. Trust me. Completely intentional. Uh, and let's go ahead and build another one. Residential. You. Over here, of course, we have to flatten the train a lot more. Go ahead and pick this up. I'm actually very confused why it uses a different... Uh, a different type of vehicle. If one is known to be faster, why not just use that one? Because in comparison, this is taking forever. This is taking forever. Okay, not the end of the world. But again, we're going to try and build these two units entirely on our own. Now, the prefab panels we still have to import, but as we learned last session, prefab panels are not that expensive. Not as expensive as I initially thought they were. They're actually really cheap. Um, eventually, we'll want to build prefab panels in our glorious republic as well. But for now, I think we're fine. For now, it's not the end of the world. Well, not flat enough. 
Okay, come on. Get to it. Get to it. These little sections at the back there, I think, that need uh, the most work, and then we can use the faster flattening. Is that good enough? Still not good enough, eh? Nope. Yeah, this, uh, this whole terraforming exercise has been expensive. Hopefully I can actually round it off at the end of this. The these two units are probably the last units that I'm going to build on this little hill. Um, because it's so time-consuming and it disrupts the uh, the environment a little bit, let's put it that way. Not the biggest fan of having to terraform this much every time I want to put down a new uh, building. Definitely not a fan of that. Go ahead. Is that close enough? You know what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit play. So at least this stuff can get built. Roads. Um, yep, start construction. Get the uh, footpaths as well. One over here. To over here. To over here. There we go. And hopefully... Some of these construction offices will get to work right away. Source of gravel is empty. Maybe just temporarily. Uh, let's go ahead and assign... You're working on the road. You can work on more than just the road. Hopefully it'll figure the rest of that out on its own. And then let's go ahead and get you working on some of these as well. Whoever can get here first and faster is good enough for me. Alright, so as that's going to be happening, let's go ahead and see where is this gravel... Uh, source of gravel is empty. Buildings without power supply. That's just got to be temporary. Source of gravel is empty. Where are you picking up your gravel from? From the aggregate storage. Ah, huh, what do you know? It is out of gravel. How the hell did you manage that? Well, let's hit play. See what's going on over here. Are we not pulling gravel down here? Hmm. Certainly not a fan of that, but maybe we can buy some gravel, at least temporarily. Otherwise, it's going to slow stuff down. So manual purchase, it's not that expensive. Again, we've got a decent bit of money. We started at 1.2. We might end this session a little bit lower than 1.2 because we're going to be investing in a fair number of things. But I think I'm fine with that. So let's go ahead and purchase. One-time purchase. Have we slowed down because of the stone? Yeah, let's go ahead and make auto-purchase a thing again. We used to have auto-purchase. I, I, I foolishly believe that we'd be working fast enough over here, but like I said, I was foolish. Yeah, the power thing was... Oh, no, you are without power supply. Are you kidding me? You're just outside of range, I assume. Where is our closest... source of power? You are able to provide all the way up to there. You can't provide up to there. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't look like they need power, though, to function. Some of these vehicles have left the, the lot. Maybe they don't actually need power. Fair enough. I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. Most of the deal over here. No fuel for construction. Auto purchase some fuel. Because we'll constantly need it. That's going to get expensive. Until we're done building this track, that's going to be our biggest expense, I think, um, from the uh, rail construction yard. Workers are hopefully arriving. Nope, you're empty. I will be keeping an eye on these trains a little bit today as well, just to make sure that I haven't missed the trick on anything. And that people are still coming in. Looks like they are. We are still producing steel really quickly. Big fan of that. That's all good. Construction over here will hopefully start progressing soon. And this stuff as well. It looks like work is being done over here. No workers on the site, though. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Everything takes time. Good things take time. Right. Yeah. We're fine. We're fine. These guys are... Moving. Are you working on any of these? Anyway, sure. You know what? Let's go ahead and say they are. Let's uh, let's keep doing our work over here. It's starting to get really crowded over here. 239 workers. 34 workers on you. 60, 70 plus waiting. Yikes. Alright. 
That train station is going to be an extremely busy one, that's for sure. It's going to be an extremely busy one. Get that wireframe back. Let's go ahead and get flattening again. I do like how quickly the green comes back. It's nice. <laughs> Game doesn't keep you waiting. All right, flatten away, flatten away. It's just a matter of this corner. I think once that corner is high enough, we can actually, again, use the uh, the construction, uh, the faster flattening method. But until this is at least a little bit higher, I don't think we can. Look at that hill, though. It's a big old drop at the edge. This is not a normal, not a normal project. Oh, we're getting there. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it like this. There we go. See see how much faster that is? Insane how much faster that is. Go ahead and get you flattened up as well. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just do it this way all the time. Go ahead and get... There we go. You flattened up. Are right, feeling back over here? Almost there. There we go. Don't, don't you dare set on me, son. I need the light to lay this stuff out properly. Don't set on me. Okay, keep flattening. I wish the nighttime was a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter, okay. So we're fine over here. We can land, plant you down over, you know, here or something. Try and close the gap a little bit. I want to see if we can't flatten this a little bit more. Preferably using this method. That's so much better. So much better. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, Tovarish. Beautiful. Now, what about over here? Can we get a smaller building to flatten this? It's so, so much better. Do something like... Uh, I think I probably have to get the, uh, the flattener out for that. Oh no, we can do it like that. Infrastructure, there we go. Now I can't see. Now I have no clue what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and cancel. We'll wait for the sun to come up. We're going to turn off the wireframe as well, because that's not the prettiest wireframe. And uh, how are we doing over here? Yep, still still working away at it. Actually really happy that this is progressing. Uh, the bricks need to come a little bit faster. I do know they were coming. I checked uh, last time. I did check that bricks were arriving. Look at that. Working at basically full pace. We're at 1.1. Again, we've spent some money, so I'm not surprised. I, w I won't be surprised if uh, we take a financial dip this session, but I don't think it'll be too big a dip. Looks so like construction over here is kind of happening. Where's our construction office? I mean, I should get power up here eventually anyway. No one seems to be... Where are you headed? Okay, so we are getting work done on the roads. This is for Rostinsky specifically, but we are getting work done on the roads. And down over here, where is our other construction office? Because that one has road stuff as well. Yeah. This is all road stuff. Maybe let's assign... Some of these roads to you. And yeah, stuff's being delivered here as well. I was rude to assume they weren't actually working. They very much are. They very much are. These are all getting some work done. We're, we're going to need electrical components for these as well, unfortunately. But I didn't want to build these without having uh, lights. Makes sense to have lights over here, so we're not going to abandon that. There we go. Sun's back up. So let's get this back on the road. Unentirely intended. And we... Flatten you a bit over here. There we go. We'll eventually want to smooth this out over here. Unless we want to take a curve. We'll see what the plan ends up being over here, but... This is, I'm going to go ahead and probably say, the end of this block. And we'll probably want to loop around with the tracks as well, maybe build a mirror down over here. I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. 
Start tell. If we do make a mirror down over here, then whatever train station we put down over here would go up and connect over here. Still have access to this and to this. We'd have a T-junction, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. But that's that's thinking way in the future, I think. Way in the future. Go ahead and get you. Over here. Go get that wireframe back up. I guess here makes the most sense. Seems to be lined up enough. Hard to tell with these pop-ups sometimes, but I think that's okay. Go with that. Get our roads. Yep, perfectly straight roads. <laughs> Nothing wrong with these roads. I don't know what you're talking about. They are A-OK. -okay. Get these foot paths built as well. Cool. They should all be able to reach. Now, with that done... Let's uh, deal with a power situation up here as well, because these guys don't have any power, and they will definitely need that. I'd like to get power arriving where? Perhaps over here in the middle? Maximum reach across the board. Infrastructure's in the way. That's always nice. Come on, your tiny little box. we we'll put it, like, up over here somewhere. I never- I don't know if these tracks will ever be extended, which is why I kind of want to keep a spot clear. I don't think they will be. Like, why would I ever want to extend the tracks from over here? Never. Right? That's future planning for you. That's future planning for you. Uh, what if we face this way? Blacking you down. Uh, we're just gonna plan for now, so let's go ahead and put you down. Yep. Over here, so you can power everything. Yep. Hey, again, we're just planning, which is why I don't want to actually build it. I will be auto-building the power supplies stuff, uh, but we're just planning for now. This will hopefully get done soon. I would very much like to uh, start actually making my own iron and stuff. But, power. 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 Where is our power plant? All the way over here. Where is the closest junction? And by junction, I mean like splitter. Well, we have a uh, high voltage coming through this way. I could get a transformer set up over here. Right, and use that transformer to power everything that's happening up here everything that'll happen, you know, if anything decides to happen down over here, we could use a transformer out over here in the middle of nowhere. Take a train ride right past it, in which case we would probably also need a switch. Built over here. Pull up to the transformer. Yeah, okay. So. So, in that case, I think we're going to have to pause. Well, actually, you know what? This is just our export that we're cutting off. I'm not too fussed about that, so let's go ahead and demolish you. The switch over here ish. Black new would build you over here. Uh, we'd connect you. We'd connect you and you. Right? Easy enough. And our transformer is a medium voltage thing. No, sorry. There we go. You'd be, let's say, over here. like so. Flatten it a little bit. Right, like that. Get uh, the high voltage connection like so. And then the medium can go straight up. I can go straight up. Over. Across. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm not being sarcastic that time. This is exactly what I wanted. Across, and then up this way. I don't know, angle is too sharp. Nice. It's always nice to see the progress being made. Uh, move you over. Oh, building's in the way. There we go. Well, let's do that. And that. Looks prettier, I think, with a little... With the spacing. 
Cool. So yeah, we can get power up there relatively easily. And again, I think we'll auto, we'll pay for this. 9k isn't that bad. Again, we've got a fair bit of money. I'm fine with ending this session with less than 1.2. Yeah, fund your construction like that. And high voltage. Fund your construction. Wow, another 13k. It's fine. There we go. And let's fund your construction. Good stuff. So, power is being exported again. And we have power up over here. Building is without power supply. Oh, it's because we didn't build you. Kind of important. There we go. Now. Building is still without power supply. Interesting. Interesting. Got power coming up there. You're getting power. Oh, you're not built. There we go. As long as we stay above a million. There we go. Power's coming through. Beautiful. So power is coming through. Roads are being built. Looks like this is almost done over here. Yeah, you're arriving with another shipment of gravel. Good stuff. I really hope... Well, this month is, holy crap, going to be bad. <laughs> I was going to say I really hope this month isn't too negative, but uh, yeah, yikes. Unless our steel train is just about to make a shipment before January ends, you're barely going to make us any money. But our steel train might take us uh, to less than less than triple well six digits six figure negatives would be nice it would be very nice <laughs> very reliant on that steel uh, which is exactly why I'm so glad that Rostinski's finally been done come on get out of there you're done how much more money are you going to make us not enough get out of there granted we have a whole other day but how much are you going to make us? Look at that. That's a shipment. This train should be ashamed of itself. This. This is a shipment. Alright. We'll actually, I think we'll we'll end the month just above, just under, uh, just worse than, I should say, negative 50k. Which, not terrible. Last year, the entire year ended at that amount. No, I have a good feeling about this year. I feel like this might be our first, like, very profitable year. Especially as we cut off some of our import costs. As we get into the 31st, I just want to see import of iron cost is how much? 118k. What is going on over here? How many bricks do we import? <laughs> um, but yeah. There we go. There we go. That feels better. That feels better. Now, Feb February could have been off to a good start if we'd waited until, you know, Feb, but no, no, no. I'd rather have a, a, a less terrible first month of the year. What's the deal over here? These guys are being built. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. Then up over here. Gotta make progress over here. I'm wondering if I kick it up to triple speed. Or, right, we're gonna plan... <laughs> Love how that shipment was half uh, in January, half in February. Well... We got we got there. It wasn't a triple. It wasn't a six-figure uh, negative. Oh my god! <laughs> Off to a fantastic start this year. No, no, no it'll be fine. All right. So uh, maybe we don't triple speed it because I do want to plan this stuff out, right? And God knows how long that'll take. No auto building. So we need to get two more of these. Two more iron ore processing plants. The thinking was the inputs would be like this. And right, so we'd have an input like this. Go ahead and flatten the train. We get the road up over here as well. I mean, let's go ahead and see actually what we can do about that. Flatten this first. Road. Mud road. Mud road moving up this way. Not able to because of the infrastructure. Not surprising. Not surprising. They'd probably loop up this way. And we even... That. Much of a climb or descent at the sides. I'm not going to be able to flatten the semi. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Let's see if we can't do it like this. Can't do it like this. Come on now. 
Come on now. No, you want to, game. There we go. Oh, come on. No. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Be up that way. Nice. Beautiful. Exactly how I'd envisioned it in my head. 100%. Ooh, that is a fancy looking bus. The new vehicle type that just popped up at the bottom right corner. I am going to check that bus type out as soon as I drop this road down. Oh, we had it green just a moment ago. We know it's pot. Oh, there we go. Come on, we can fix this. Nice. You know what? Not the worst. Not the worst is exactly how I'm going to define that. Now, sorry, hold on, hold on. We have that's that's a that's a beautiful looking bus. I want to see how efficient it is and if I want to swap buses finally. The IKR 256, 45 passengers. That's it. Come on, man. The 280 looks nice as well. Might want to get the 280s out there. A bit more of them. I also want to look at uh, our, uh, the car industry, like the vehicle industry. See if we want to get uh, some of that happening. Ooh, progress. Nice. All right. Uh, stop getting distracted here. Well, let's wait for the sunrise, I guess. I like spending the nights just looking around at the progress that's been made. Like, uh, okay, good. We're making some progress over here. You literally come all the way. Oh, no, you're dropping workers off. Okay. I was like, what are you doing here? Okay, good to see progress being made, though. We definitely need to get these buildings done soon. With the extra people that we need to uh, actually mine the iron and, and whatnot. What's the deal over here, by the way? Are we still running low on bricks? We got bricks delivered. Our workers here as well. Where's the train? Excuse me. Why aren't you out there working? Um... Hide that. Wait, why, 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 where is, why are we not? These trees are actually hiding my own view. Yeah, they don't, nothing's out here. And working. Even though we've got workers, I guess maybe we don't have enough bricks, is the one thing I could, uh, assume. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No time to waste. Let's get back to this business over here. Uh, let's go ahead and build our, well, let's place, I should say, our iron ore processing plant over here. Right, you can snugly fit over here. A little bit further up, I think. I'll explain why in a second. A bit further up. There we go. Let's go over there. And the reason why is these outputs. I want to have room for them to actually pivot around, right? Because what I might need to do is I might need to have our aggregate storage over here in this little valley area that we're kind of planning. Improper use of the word planning, I think. Uh, all right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and see our other iron ore processing plant. Because again, like, I, I, I really like the, the, I'm trying to remember the exact verbiage of the comment, but it was too long uh, to memorize. But it was basically like, you know, the uh, the workers should be able to see the fruits of their labor um, before it gets shipped off. And it'd be nice to have that giant <laughs> mound of processed iron, I suppose, uh, to allow for that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty funny and cheeky, and I like it. So we're going to try. We're going to try our darndest. Let's go ahead and flatten over here. Yeah, come on, bring it up. Bring it up. If we don't have to go that far out, I'd be happy. Be a lot happier, in fact. The the annoying thing is that conveyor belts only have one input. I say annoying. It's perfectly fair. It's a balancing. It's a, it's a way to balance it. It'd be nice if you could change the outputs into inputs, though. It'd be nice if you could say, you know what, as opposed to having one input and three outputs, this one has two inputs and two outputs, or three inputs and one output. Um... I don't know, maybe that doesn't happen. Maybe that didn't happen in the 70s in real life. Or not coal, iron. What's causing us trouble here? This terrain not being flat. Okay. Go ahead. Flatten, flatten. Won't be a problem. We'll just take a second to do. Hopefully that's enough. 
Oh, come on now. Need infrastructure. Need flat terrain. Where is it not flat? Oh, at the top corner there. Alright, that won't take very long. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Just about. Okay, so we can flatten like this now. Again, the input is facing the right direction, so that's fair. Output is facing up top. Gonna be so messy. The other option, of course, is to do something like this. Hmm. If I do something like this, then the conveyor belts would have a funky kind of a system. The road would face up top. Okay, let's let's try. Let's try this. Let's try this, okay? Again, we're just experimenting here. There's gonna be a little bit of trial and error over here, mainly because this is uh I mean holy crap, this is a messy, messy part of the the Republic. Gotta do it in parts there, fair enough. Go ahead and flatten you a little bit, there we go. Probably gonna have to do this in parts as well. Yep. Okay, I'm not, not upset about that. I'm stretching our borders to the limit, like, we, we are building some extremely polluting buildings right at the borders. Right at the borders. Oh, come on, flatten, you know you want to. Oh, or you can work like this as well. I'd be fine with that. No, I don't. I'm not. I wouldn't be fine with a little. Or maybe I would be. Yeah, this is too big a descent. Fair enough. You know what we could do? Cancel all that. Demolish this. Flatten this a little bit more. Right, because that's that's all that's all the game wants. The game just wants this terrain to be a little bit flatter. And we can give the game that. We can give the game that much. It's little roads, but it's happy. Okay, well, if you flatten it like that, then I won't be able to build my processing plant, will I? Come on, game. I gave you something, you gotta give me something back. Oh, oh, can we, can we? No, we can't. Oh. Infrastructure. Okay, no we can't, but doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. Do this, right? Just like that. Come on. There we go. Oh, hmm. No, that's that's lifting a fair bit of it, a fair amount. Still might might be able to get away with it. Because I can pull back now. Something like that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Feeling good, feeling good. There we go. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Round you off. Uh, you will probably likely be more like this, or will we just pull a road straight down? No, too big a descent. In which case, let's go ahead and cancel this. We can average this out, I think. Just to smooth the drop a little bit. Then you'd be like that. Yep, you'd still not want to join. God damn. It's not the end of the world. This is an easy fix, it's just a matter of being patient. Which, patience is something I have in spades, as many of you know. Okay, okay, okay. Move a little bit further out, right, like that, and then... Still... Still not a fan of this dip, eh, game? Not a fan of this dip. What, it's a little bit of acceleration on the way out. What's What's the problem with that? Go ahead and I'm wasting I'm wasting time on this, aren't I? There are far more important uh, things to test with this uh, plan of ours. Oh, but hey, you know what? I say I'm wasting time, and all of a sudden the road decides to work. Gotta pretend like you don't care about it anymore. All right, there we go. Like any good relationship. <laughs> um, I'm joking. Um, let's see. Now this is gonna be struggle of a lifetime. This is going to be the struggle of a lifetime. This is messy. Wonder if this road shouldn't go up this way, if it should go under instead. It's just by clearing that. 
alone. I think we'll now be able to build the conveyor belts over here, hopefully. You no, know, this is tight quarters. That's exactly what I was worried about over here. Um, I could demolish. Okay, let's go ahead and try demolishing you. Well, then you can fit over here, just barely. All we need... I want to get rid of that pavement. So fine, it's a little off. A little off, but that's fine. Better than nothing. Right? And then you'd be connected like so. Then we get you... Up over... This is where it gets really weird. Yeah, see, this is just far too messy and densely packed, it seems. Okay, let's see. You can get over to here. Hmm. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Line me game. What you really want is flat terrain. That's what you really want. Or maybe, maybe it is the infrastructure. Who knows anymore? Hey, wait, there's a spot over here. There it is. Do that. Get you up to there. No building in the way. Come on. Now you over here will be fine. Because what we can do here is we can do... This. You down. Build it. What building in the way? This building is not in the way. Building is demonstrably not in the way. Okay, this has got to demolish real quick. There we go. I don't know what I demolished by mistake, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Whoops, as they say in the construction business. Building in the way. What building is in the way? This building is not in the way. It's right. It's all. This is where I start to get a little annoyed at the conveyor belt system because that is not a fair call. But okay. Cancel you. Demolish you. And we'll wait for uh, sunrise again and maybe. This is what I mean. This is where it's going to get kind of challenging. We can drop you down over here. Alright, let's try this. Until the sun doesn't set completely. You can do that. You can't get up over there. Fair enough. Okay, and you can come up over here. Cool. This stuff's going to be interesting as well. Trying to work this around the side. What we do is probably like... Like... Let's see. What would we do? How will we get things to an aggregate that is out over here? Because that's ultimately where the aggregate's going to be. Uh, if I can find it. Where are we? This. Let's go with a large one. Right, we'll put it down over here, let's say. We have to flatten the train first. Do we want to put it up all the way over there? Or somewhere more centralized? Somewhere more centralized makes sense. down from here, go down from here, go up from here, go up and around here. You know what? A little bit further up isn't the end of the world. We could actually put this down, like, up over there. Well, we'll wait for the sun to rise, nonetheless. Uh, what's the deal over here? Road is being worked on. Hasn't been completed, but it is being worked on. Once the section gets done, we'll be able to actually get the stuff powered up and working. And again, if at first we have to take trucks to carry the, uh, the iron down here, I don't mind. It's not the end of the world. Also, we have made a decent bit of money, and the trains haven't stopped yet. Not down there, and not up here either. By stopped, I mean stopped because of a weird, uh, you know, head-to-head -head situation. All right, what's the deal over here? These roads are not done. Almost. These roads are almost done. Making slow progress because there's no workers, but hopefully some will arrive soon. And then uh, we can actually get to work on the, you know, actual buildings, the actual houses themselves, the, the, the residential units. 
his roads still need to be worked on as well. What I might do is I might make one of these into mud, so at least, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna make this into a mud road. So that when this is done, and I'm gonna make this into a mud road as well. And the reason for that is so that when these roads are done, which will hopefully be soon, uh, we'll be able to deliver at least material these, uh, to these construction sites. Yeah. So tempting to just fund this construction, it's so cheap. Let's do it. Because then now I can I can assign this at least. So where where are my construction offices? You. I should be able to assign at least. Assign that. Yep. Because there is technically a road connection. You as well. No, not. <laughs> the chance of actually clicking on a vehicle from all the way up over here. Go ahead and assign. You. And the other one doesn't actually do this stuff. It just does roads, so that's fine. Cool, very cool. So now hopefully at least materials get delivered, because there's a lot of materials that need delivering, and then they can start construction when the opportunity presents itself. What are you doing back over here? Oh, okay, you're bringing electronic components. Fair enough. Alright, so up over here. Let's go ahead and plan around the truck, not the truck, sorry, but the large aggregate storage being over here. Because that makes a relatively straightforward connection. It's going to be tough. Not going to be neat, but a relatively straightforward connection down south. Let's go ahead and say over here. Right. Make a road connection. Eventually. We've got the inputs. We've got the outputs facing the right direction. Fair enough. Cool. Now back to the infrastructure. Let's go ahead and see. Conveyor belt. Now you shouldn't have a hard time, right? You should have a relatively easy time, actually. If we go ahead and place you, what, over here? Let's say. You should be able to just kind of pop on over to here. Nope. Building in the way. Apparently not. You should be able to deliver, let's say, up to there. Relatively easy, right? You shouldn't have a hard time either, I imagine. Mm, maybe a slightly harder time. Get your input over here. Right, like so, let's say. Flatten that out. And it goes out from there down to here. That bridge area is going to be the, the hard thing to navigate through. Overlaps with existing construction. I'm guessing that's the power. We'll do that. Okay, let's get the power up and running again. Medium voltage wires. Auto build you. Okay, there we go. And up over here as well. Not a problem. Turn off auto build before we make a horrible mistake. Um, so you're done over here. Then you're going to connect. Yeah. Apparently you're not. Let's get you down like so. All right. Almost like power should be the last thing I do. Okay, there we go. That shouldn't have cost anything, hopefully. So we're fine over here until now. Alright, now we turn this around and get up this way. Move you... Well, this should be a fine spot. Alright, like so. Nope. Infrastructure below. Even though that doesn't look like it's intersecting. Even though it doesn't look like it. Apparently it is. Can't cancel you, gotta demolish you. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's pull you down to say here. Alright, make this connection like so. I guess this has to do with the height of the of the uh, slope. Ah, okay, this is where I get worried. Because what is our track doing over here? Right, it is not that high. It rises up over there, so maybe we can clear up over here between this in this gap. Maybe. Right, like where would I have to put 
this transfer unit. Ideally, I could put it up over here somewhere, but because that's the ideal solution, I have a strong feeling that that wouldn't work. Mother infrastructure is in the way, of course. So let's try putting you over here. Right? This obviously is not a problem, but this. Other infrastructure overlaps with existing construction. Hmm. The other option, of course, is we go around the track this way. Go the long way around, right? Overall, this sounds silly, but overall this is actually probably more efficient than getting all those trucks like I was talking about last time. As messy as this looks, are you goddamn kidding me? Come on, game. You know what I need from you. We can do this. And then... Obviously that doesn't work. Gotta do this. Okay. So far so good. Right, so ideally actually what we would do is we would get rid of... You build this over here. Well, like so, I suppose. This connection is probably not going to work. Yeah, infrastructure below, that's fine. Get you over to here, perhaps. Connect you, connect... God damn it. Just a little off. A little off. Over here, perhaps basically where we started. Okay, almost literally where we started, it seems. Try and match this, because if we match that, then it should work. Hypothetically, right? And there. No, that's weird. It's like the exact same situation. I guess you need to be a little bit further out. Like that. There we go. Magic. Go up there. Alright, so out we go, up we go, and then let's go ahead and demolish you, and you, and you. Okay. Roads are being completed before I'm able to get all this done. Demolish all of you. Okay, good stuff. Rotate you to face that way. You know what? This is not as bad as I'd initially anticipated. Not perfect, but it's not terrible. Oh. It auto-clicks on the uh, the X there. Let's go ahead and do that. Right, and then we can connect this like this. Beautiful. Trying to make it as like neat as possible. I mean, I could maybe clean this up a little bit. Uh, push it up a little bit. Let's see if that's worth the trouble. Do... Something like this, right? You know what? I don't think it's worth the trouble. Watch, it doesn't work now. <sighs> God damn it. I deserve this. I deserve every second of this pain. It was fine just as it was. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god. Remind me never to do that again. Okay, well, let's go ahead and auto-build, please. Get you up to here, and then up to here. There we go. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Not experiment with that nonsense again. All right, then from here, we would like to maybe... Get up to here, perhaps? Nice spot there, yep. Can we? Yes, we can. And then from here, I doubt, yeah, it's too, too, too sharp a connection. Fair. That's 100% fair. But, you know what? This is so far okay. Get you, like, over here-ish. There we go. And there we go. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? Not terrible. We got two of them connected. Now, this one is going to be a giant pain. This one shouldn't be too hard, actually. Feeling good so far. Let's take a quick look at our uh, progress. 
Uh, financially, we have almost made six figures. We have started delivering material over here, as I'd expected, so that's great. Road construction is continuing, as expected. Wonderful. And it looks like people are just kind of like walking to work from some of these buildings over here. Which, I mean, I'm not averse to at all. Trains are still moving smoothly. Yep. Oh, look! Look! We're building! We're, bu we're building. We're making, we're, making, we're making the bridge. Happening. I'm so happy about this. I'm like... Foolishly happy about this, maybe. I don't know. I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. Alright, Rostinsky. You continue to impress me with how relatively easy you are to improve, so... Let's keep working on it. I feel like I'm in the zone here, so I don't want to lose that. Now that I've said it, I've definitely jinxed it. Might as well give up now, right? Pull you down to here. Well, let's try this. This is, this is going to be... These are the tougher ones, right? Because this we'd pull down like so. And then we'd like pull you over to here and then try to drag you over top of this conveyor belt. But I don't know if there's enough room. Yeah, see, I probably want to demolish all this road. Right, we'll get you a little bit more room to work with. Come on now, there we go. Can't go too far now. So let's put you down over there. Put it over here. I don't know how well this will work. If it does, I'll be very happy. Jinx it. Building in the way. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and give this a minute. And again, just take just take a moment to relax as the sun sets and just take a look at our progress over here again. Have people been... Yeah, looks like some workers have actually arrived. Might actually start building this. Actually, it looks like we are already building this. Apart from just the materials arriving, which is excellent. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't actually... There's a setting, isn't there, for like if, uh, if we should allow migrants to arrive right at the beginning or if we should wait. Uh, hopefully some of the people that are living with their parents at the age of 21 are able to move on. I think that's when the game, that's not me passing judgment or anything like that. That's I think that's when the game decides people should be living in a different building. And I think we are suffering from overpopulation a little bit. Uh, we are topped up. A lot of these buildings are topped up. All of these buildings are topped up. And that is not good. Oh my god, how many homeless people do we have? Not that that's a thing, but we definitely need to, to figure this out. Uneducated are very low, so I'm happy to see that. Less than 2,000. But look at that, yeah. Population of 9k. We're about to hit 10k, that's got to be worth something. I should check this more often just to get these stats figured out. Unemployed workers is dropping as we speak. That's always good to see. Average productivity is great. You know, I'm pretty happy with our overall situation. Uh, and let's take a look at our economy. Last month, 79k. This month, already 50k almost. And we are actually back at 1.2. Speak to the, the devil. Good as well, because we're, we're, we're getting clothes and stuff properly. I haven't checked on this in a while, but looks like chemicals are arriving. Oh, just as, just as we went into check, some chemicals arrived. So that's working nicely. We're actually producing clothes ra ra rather relatively. Not like Scooby-Doo for a second there. Relatively frequently, we're able to produce clothes and export them, so that's good. Anyways, back to this, this little jungle of conveyor belts over here. What's the deal? We're up over here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Fair enough. How do we want to go about this? See, this is not bad, but can we get another one? Go ahead and demolish you guys. Get rid of the roads, right? Roads we'll figure out later. The sidewalks will connect the uh, train station to this workspace. I'll be fine with that. Go ahead and get you down over here. Got a bit of a plan. I don't know if it'll work, but I've got one. Get you over to there, right? If you come down to here, down to here. That wasn't my plan. I don't know why I did it. 
If you... <laughs> God damn it, building is in the way. Um, alright. Building is probably still in the way up there. Try it though. The angle might be good enough. Let's try it. Go ahead and flatten. Okay. Can you? Yes, you can. Okay, great. And can you? No. Can you? Yes. Oh my god, yes. That's exactly what I needed. Boom. Boom. And uh, get rid of you because... Boom. And boom. Yes! Oh my god, it's hideous. But it works, says the game, despite this clear intersection over here. I will take it. <laughs> I will take it. Uh, so that's that setup, and we've just got this last one over here, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, should be relatively easy after all this mess. Or, like, we should be able to... Let's try this, right? Set you up over here. Set you up like so. If and I get all the way across there, I have my doubts. That's wishful thinking. Way too much, uh... Way too much between here and there for this to actually connect in one swoop. Building in the way. I strongly disagree with that statement. We're not going to be able to fit the uh, this in here. Fair enough, fair enough. We knew this was going to be the worst one. Because it's tucked away in the corner like this. I'm wondering if I want to... Well, I could... Hmm... This is gonna be a horribly messy and 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 congested area. I'm wondering if we are able to loop back somehow. I doubt it. Go up this way. We can't build over here. Just trying to find the gaps, basically. Like go up here, find a gap in here, maybe. I don't think one exists. This might be the only one that uh, has like a truck or something deliver to the same storage area. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be that upset if one of them has to use a truck to deliver to here, and then from here we can just build, um, well, not one giant, but, you know, the connection down to here. We'll probably, like, loop down this way, come down this way, come down this way, come down this way. It'll take more effort than that, but that definitely feels nice. And we have a, a, an interesting situation with our tracks here, right, as the, uh, the train goes underneath this and then rises up over here. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This feels pretty good. Oh, and we continue to build. And further and further along. Getting further and further along. I can't wait until this bridge is done. But hey, that was, uh, you know what? This was, this was... Pretty good. I'm relatively satisfied with this. Relatively satisfied with this. Man. It's gonna be exciting. Once we get this up and running, it's gonna be great. Um, just wanna see. Look at that, 22k. Seven days, 22k, 23k. We're gonna be saving so much money. Last month, how much did we spend? Almost 100k. Last year, over a million. If we actually manage to save that much money per year, it's gonna be huge. But. I'm just dreaming big. I'm just dreaming big. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. This is what we're going to call it. It's been a little bit over an hour. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below letting me know that you would like to see more. We'll be back with Soviet Sunday, of course, as always. Uh, until then, we'd just like to give a massive thanks to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks, of course, goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Das Vidanya.